and I'm a physical therapist with Dreyer Physical Therapy Institute. And I'm here to discuss with you today the topic of concussion. So what is a concussion? A concussion is a brain injury that may result from bruising or bleeding of the brain from impact. So whether it be through sports or a fall, the patient has had their head actually hit upon an object, whether it be another person or the ground, causing that bruising and bleeding. You also will have an impact to the vestibular and vision systems of this person. So you want to be looking for vision, balance, and hearing as impacts to this patient. The next thing you want to do is look for signs and symptoms of these patients. So you want to look for are they having any headaches, dizziness, if they're complaining of stars, if they're having any vision issues such as blurry or double vision. As well as you want to ask the patient if they've had any loss of consciousness. The old thought is that every patient that had lost consciousness had had a concussion, but the true fact is now that we're finding most patients that have had result of concussion, they actually did not lose any consciousness throughout the result of injury. The other prominent thing that you want to keep an eye out for is a sleep pattern with these patients. So they may tell you that they're sleeping throughout the day the entire day, or they may, as treatment goes on, tell you that they're starting to have cuts in their sleep pattern, so they're not sleeping as long as they should be. These sleep disturbances are also the result from the brain injury. You also want to ask them about focus and concentration. So they may be having difficulty with reading or with watching TV and video games. The focus with concentration and reading is particularly important, especially with students as they're having trouble with their studies. The next thing you want to do with this patient is just do a quick screen. So you want to do a visual screen on this patient with using either the tip of your finger or a pen, and you simply want to draw a letter in the air. They have to follow this letter with following your finger with their eyes smoothly. If you find anything within this pattern that seems that the eyes are skipping a beat or that they can't follow at all, then that's when you want to consult a physician on that. The next thing that you want to test for with them as well is their balance. So you may want to see if they can stand on one limb or if they're able to stand with eyes open and eyes closed. So for instance, on one limb, you want to assess if they're losing balance forward, backward to any of the sides, as well as testing both sides. With eyes open and eyes closed, you want to be assessing for the vestibular system, primarily with the eyes closed. So with this patient, you want to make sure that they're not having any falls or any loss of balance. Again, if you see any of these signs and symptoms, you want to refer them back to their physician. So after signs and symptoms have been assessed, the next thing that you want to look at is rate to return to activity. With many people, they can recover quickly after their first concussion. So some only take a few days, others take a few weeks, up to a few months. What you want to be concerned with is their rest with this period of time. So they may not be able to do things as quickly or for as long a period of time as they were before. So rest is very important with these people. As well as with activity, so returning to sport or work. With sports, you want to be concentrated on returning to cardio or endurance or impact, as well as work-related tasks. You want to look at computer work or reading tasks, so if they're focusing or concentration is returned to normal. So in order to return to full activity, these patients should have absolutely no symptoms of that concussion. All should have been resolved. If they have not had any resolution or have not had full resolution of these symptoms, then if they return to set their activity prior, they may result in a second concussion, which then would magnify these symptoms and result in a longer prolonged recovery period. And you wanna make sure that they're being taken care of as well as resting appropriately, because if not, then you're only prolonging their symptoms with that concussion. So if you're experiencing any of these signs and symptoms that we have previously mentioned and they're not resolving within a few days, you want to consult your physician to receive treatment. At your physician's office, they may make a referral for physical therapy. During physical therapy, what you may experience is someone assessing your vision, your balance, and your vestibular system because all these systems are important for your balance. You may also experience increase of symptoms while during treatment. It's important to let your physical therapist know of any of these symptoms increasing so that they can modify your program as necessary. You also, as you progress, will have increase of exercise to help resume to prior at level of activity. So you may start out with small amounts of cardio, small amounts of endurance training, and build up to what's appropriate for your level of activity. Again, just keep in mind, as you go through treatment, your signs and symptoms may increase, but that's normal. You want to let anyone know of these increases of signs and symptoms so that they can appropriately assess you and keep your rest as well as your activity under control. This has been a discussion on concussions, and what you want to make sure is if you're having any of these signs and symptoms that you please consult a physician. Thank you.